The mission of Blueprint is to mitigate sanitary sewer overflows. The sanitary sewer system, which is like the pipe where the drain from your house goes, that gets overwhelmed with stormwater and we have to relieve it because otherwise it goes into people's basements, it goes on the street, and we relieve it to the rivers. So it's not great, you know, having untreated sewage going to the rivers. So we are under a consent order with the EPA to mitigate those overflows. We looked around and saw a lot of other cities doing green plans, which involves like rain gardens and pervious pavement and things like that. And so we went back to the EPA and asked them if we could investigate a green plan, and they said, yeah, let's do this. To me, it means that we're solving a problem not by spending huge amounts of money to route the water down to the wastewater treatment plant, but to take a better stance and give us a better lifestyle and a better life in Clintonville and in the city of Columbus. I think it's going to bring a sense of um, beauty and community again to our neighbors. And in our community, there are people who are struggling with these very issues about how to get the water away from their homes. They have wet basements. They have gutters that need fixed. They have laterals that are broken. And this is a great opportunity for them to get assistance and to uh, fix their properties and to accomplish the goals that Blueprint has. It was interesting for me seeing the former site of the Southside Settlement House, which has been down here for 100 years. You know, you want something important to happen on that site, but no one had really the idea for a particular building or something. And people said, why not a Project Blueprint Park that could be a research site, but also a community gathering space with playgrounds and with basketball courts that when, when it rains, the water goes down through the pavement. You know, that just seemed really cool. 